In the country of Brazil, I encountered many butterflies. Let me show you some of them. But how is it possible that I seem to know many of their names on the fly? Especially in my videos where I'm walking in the rainforest and I see a butterfly and I'm like, hey, that's this and this species. Well, I don't know all of them from the top of my head and I don't know, I don't think any biologists do. Behind the scenes, I'm cheating a little bit because I have an excellent book about butterflies. A guide to the Butterflies of the Serra dos Orgal, Southeastern Brazil, by George Bizarro and Alan Martin. And today we are going to talk about this important book. Some of you may have seen the videos, some of you may not have seen them, but since recently I have a new occupation. I'm sponsored by a natural reserve in southern Brazil. And here I'm helping to contribute to butterfly and moth conservation. The natural reserve is called Regua, Reserva Ecologica de Guapiatsu. And Regua invests a lot of resources in research when it comes to butterflies and moths. And since recently, I am one of the people who is contributing to research in the local area. But before I joined Regua, a team of professional entomologists has been studying Lepidoptera in this area for over a decade. And the result of that is this beautiful book, A Guide to the Butterflies of the Serra dos Orgales. And today I really wanted to talk about it because I believe books and sources are super important if you want to have some expertise with butterflies and moths. Don't just believe your friend's word for information, okay? Take your information from actual sources. Now, this excellent book, I'm going to show you some of the contents, has been the result for, um, of over 10 years of intensively photographing, documenting and studying butterflies and moths. And one of the things that we see that I like, especially if we open the book and we go to the back part, we see that this book contains pictures of hundreds of species of local butterflies. And then you see the true diversity of the butterflies of southeastern Brazil. As you can see, it even cont contains undescribed species. Here you go. Undescribed Gorgition species. Okay, see that? So this species doesn't even have a name to science yet. But this book contains so much information about the local species of butterflies in southeastern Brazil. This book is really a must-have for anyone that is interested in the butterflies of southeastern Brazil or needs some help to identify them. 
You see, identifying butterflies is not easy. Now, thanks to the internet, it's become more easy to find international and freely accessible sources about the butterflies and moths of different countries and different parts of the world. But I'm going to tell you, your information is still going to be limited if you don't use books as sources. Because the truth is, the internet when it comes to entomology is still lagging behind the literature. And literature is very, very important. Can you see that? Here, this contains some of the species I also encountered in the wild. Here's the morphos. Remember when I found the morpho menelaus in southeastern Brazil? Remember when I found the morpho portis? If you watch all my videos, you remember some of these species. And this book contains pretty much um, most of the species that you can encounter in southeastern Brazil, in the area of the Serra dos Orgaos. Now the Serra dos Orgaos, it refers to the Oregon mountain range. It's also a national park, but it's also a specific area in southeastern Brazil. That's a biodiversity hotspot. And the species you'll find there are completely different from the Amazon rainforest. Because we are talking about the Atlantic rainforest. And the Atlantic rainforest is a rainforest in the south of Brazil, but also parts of, Ara of, parts of Paraguay and Argentina. Um, that is fundamentally different from the Amazon. The species here have evolved differently. The climate here is tropical to subtropical with slightly more pronounced seasons than in the Amazon rainforest. You do get a more somewhat colder quote-unquote winter season and hotter summers. But it is also um, a super humid monsoon climate with some of the most biodiversity on planet Earth. Here you can see some of the beautiful pre preponas. There you go. Just going to go through this quickly. Fantastic, isn't it? So this book is so extensive, it even contains several species of butterflies that have not been described to science, but have been photographed. And most of the butterflies in this book, with some luck, I will be able to find in Regua as well, next time I return there. Fantastic, isn't it? And these kind of images are just simply a testament to the massive biodiversity. That is the rainforest, just look at that. Wow, here's the swallowtails, the papillionids. There you go. Now, as you can see, this book is a Regua publication. Reserva Ecologica de Guapiazzo. That's the red natural reserve that I work with uh, too right now. And what's really interesting about this book is if you buy this book, the profit they make when you buy it, basically the funds, um, the funds from selling books, it goes to the natural reserve and it sponsors their research. So if you're thinking about buying this book, and I guess you can just send an email to Regua, but what I think is a really good thing is if people buy this book, they will indirectly, well, they will actually not indirectly, but directly sponsor butterfly and moth conservation because the money is going to a natural reserve that is protecting the environment and more or less paying people or investing in people who are willing to go there and use their talent to document butterflies and moths. And this book is actually one of the results of that. This book was co-produced by Regua themselves. And this is just a testament to how powerful this, uh, this kind of business model is. If you think about it, funding your own research and producing your own books and sources that you can sell to people, but also help fund your own research and operations. That's what I really like about it. The rest of the book is also really interesting. I'll go through it quite quickly. But as you can see, it contains a lot of information when it comes to uh, species of butterflies. And per species we see a description. We see similar species. We see its distribution and their ecology. So you will be able to look up if there's any known food plants for particular species. This will help you raise or study them in the wild. But also just help understand their biology better. Here. Let's read this one for Morpho Portis, which is um, 
a medium to large and distinctive light turquoise blue morpho with perfect triangular wings. The upper side is iridescent turquoise with a rosary like dark brown um, outer margin and a similar row of white dots parallel to the margins extending from the forewing costa to the hindwing tornus. The underside is brown with many vertical silverish white stripes and a median line of ocelli restricted to a pair on the forewing. Its distribution is locally common and abundant at the right time of the year, found in southeastern Brazil from Espirito Santo to Rio Grande do Sul state, northeast Argentina to Paraguay and Mato Grosso, the Mato Grosso state in Brazil. This species has an extensive single brood occurring for f from 500 to 1600 meters altitude wherever its host plant is abundant, which is native bamboo from the genus Chuskea poacea family from late February to May. Adults are fruit feeders and fly lazily along trails, escarpments and slopes high above ground. Larvae are gregarious, yellowish and green and stop feeding around December, drinking only water until pu pupating by late January. Now that's great. What I think is great is that with each species that it mentions, and it literally mentions hundreds of species, you can see where the species is found, how to distinguish it from other similar species, what they eat, and a little bit of their ecology when it's known to science. Although for a lot of species you'll see, such as for Xenandria, Xenandria agia ecology, nothing is known of its bio behavior or biology. That's because in the rainforest in southeastern Brazil, um, the life cycle and the ecology and biology of many butterfly and moth species is totally and completely unknown to science. And it needs more research in order to figure it out. But that's the cool thing about this book. Um, this book was funded by research and buying this book also funds research. So maybe someday we'll be able to figure out some of those unknown life cycles and unknown ecology of so, so many butterflies who deserve to be understood. And that's a great thing in my opinion. So shout out to George Bizarro, which, um, who is a very experienced butterfly scientist at the Natural Reserve Regua. And a shout out to everyone watching and Alan Martin, who also helped produce this book. It's a wonderful book. It's a wonderful guide that I recommend to everyone who has a healthy interest in butterflies, wants to learn more about them. And of course, especially if you're thinking about visiting southeastern Brazil, if you're ever thinking about going to Regua, well, this book is going to help you so much to identify everything that you're going to encounter in the forest. Last but not least, I also make a lot of videos in Brazil. So this book is also going to help you understand some of the species that you can see in my videos, which I also think is interesting. This was Bart Coppens with a guide to the butterflies of the Serra dos Orgaos. If you're thinking about ordering this book, my recommendation is to go to the Regua website themselves, send them an email, get in touch with them and let them know that you're interested in receiving a copy. And I'm pretty sure they are selling more copies to people who are interested. This book will definitely help you understand butterflies better in a region of the world where they are perhaps understudied. Very fascinating. And you'll be able to learn more about many of the species I show in my videos because this is the region in Brazil where I'm also documenting insects on YouTube. Hope to see you in the next video. I document butterflies and moths in southeastern Brazil since recently. And one group of moths in the rainforest that I really find fascinating are the hog moths. Let me show you some species I encountered there.